Hello everyone. Once again, I'll welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today we are going to study the practice set 2.2, which is based on the interior angle test, alternate angle test, and corresponding angle test, which will help you to prove the parallel lines. How to prove the parallel lines? So using this test, these things we are going to study in this practice set, practice set 2.2. First example, in this example, they gave the values of x and y. y angle is given 108 and x value is given 71 degree. Now we have to prove this line M and line N are the parallel lines. Here, y angle is 108 degree and x angle is 71 degree. So we can check it x plus y is equal to 71 plus 108 and it is nothing but 179. So which is not that means what is the meaning of this x plus y it is not equal to 180 degree. So hence we can say that these two are not parallel lines. Suppose if we get that x plus y is equal to 180 degree. Is equal to 180 degree. So in that case we can use the uh, interior angle test and we can say that at line m and line n are parallel. But here we did not get that it is equal to 180. It is less than 180. Therefore line m and line n are not parallel lines. Second example, in this second example, A and B angles are given concurrent. And once again, we have to prove that line L is equal, sorry, line L is parallel to line M. Prove line L parallel to line M, we can use the test. In the previous examples also I have mentioned that we can use the interior angle test, corresponding angle test and alternate angle test. So here, what is the relation of A and B? A and B are the alternate angles, exterior alternate angle. If these two are congruent, then by alternate angle test, we can say that line M is parallel with line M. What is given? Angle A is congruent with angle B. What we have to prove? To prove. What we have to prove? Line L is parallel with line M. So line L is parallel with line M. This we have to prove it. Line L is parallel with line M. So now I will start the proof. Figure is given. See this figure, once again you have to draw in the solution. So here you can draw the figure once again. To prove it, I will start from the given. Angle A is congruent with angle B. What is the reason for this? It is given. But these are pairs of Exterior angle. Exterior alternate angles. Therefore, therefore, by alternate angle test, I can say that line L is parallel with line M and hence it is proof. In third example, three lines are given L, M and N and here they gave A angle is congruent with B. These two angles are congruent. And another given is X and Y are congruent. We have to prove it. Line L is parallel with line N. So, 
will start from the given. Angle A is congruent with angle B. This is the antecedent part. Whichever comes after A, that is the antecedent part. And the part which comes after then, that is a consequent. So, A angle is congruent with B. Angle X is congruent with Y. So, what we have to prove? We have to prove line L is parallel with line L. Here once again you have to draw the same figure whichever is given in the solution. Now we will see the proof. To prove it, I will explain the figure first. Here we will consider L and M line. In this, if you will consider K is a transversal. A and B would be the corresponding angles. And here they have said that those are equal. That is these corresponding angles pair would be congruent. If these pair would be congruent then line L is parallel with M. So here we will get that relation of the line L and M they are parallel. Similarly if we we'll consider the M and N here X and Y are the interior. Here X and Y are the alternate angles pair. Now, if they are congruent, it is given. So, line M also will be parallel with line N. So, indirectly by the property of a transitivity, line L is parallel with M, M is parallel with N. So, by transitivity, line L is parallel with line N. So, we will see the proof. So, I will consider this given angle A is congruent with angle B. But these angles are corresponding angles. Therefore, line L is parallel with line M alt by corresponding angle test. See here, these are the corresponding angle and because of this corresponding angle test, I can say that line L is parallel with line N. And I'll consider this is the equation number 1. Now we'll go for the next given angle X is congruent with angle Y but these are alternate angles therefore an alternate angle test I can say that line M is parallel with line N. And this is my second equation. One says, equation one says that line L is parallel with line M. Second says that line M is parallel with line L. So, from 1 and 2, by the property of a transitivity, I can say that the line L is parallel with line N and hence it is proof. Both examples said that ray BA, this ray and this ray are parallel with each other. One more hint they have said that we have to draw the parallel line through this point C and which is parallel to DE or which is parallel to AB. EQ line which is parallel to AB through the point C. With the help of that parallel line, I can uh, find the measure of the angle. They have given angle D. This angle is 100 degree. This angle is 50 degree. Now how to prove it or how to find out the measure of the angle ABC. So here also we are going to take the concept of the parallel lines and transversal 
angles made by the parallel lines and transversal that means corresponding angles alternate angle and interior angle for construction What is construction? I draw the line PQ such that it is parallel to AB. If it is parallel to AB, so it is of course it is parallel to DE. Why it is parallel? Because if it is parallel to AB, but AB is parallel with DE. So here construction, draw line PQ parallel to line AB through point C. So solution will show first all these three lines are parallel with each other. So line PQ is parallel with line AB. It is construction. So at line AB is parallel with line DE it is given therefore line PQ is also parallel with line DE now I have shown that all these three lines are parallel with each other now think if it is DE is parallel with PQ then and if you consider CD is a transversal so this is 100 degree and this angle uh, 100 degree and this angle would be the interior angles and if they are interior angles then they are supplementary. Line PQ is parallel with line DE and I will consider CD is a transversal. Therefore, this angle, angle EDC, angle EDC plus angle DCQ, angle DCQ is equal to 180 degree. Why we can say? Because these are the interior angles and by interior angle theorem, interior angle theorem. I can say that this is 180 degree. This measurement we know that it is 100 degree plus angle DCQ is equal to 180 degree. 100 it's in addition. If you transfer it, it will go in subtraction. So angle DCQ is equal to 180 minus 100. That means angle DCQ we will get 80 degree. We have got angle DCQ. This angle is 80 degrees. See, A, B, C angle, this angle and this is the complete major angle. These are the alternate angles. So, whatever the measurement, you will get rid of this whole angle. That would be the measurement of this angle A, B, C, which we have to find out. So, here to get the complete angle, I have to add these two angles. So, angle B, C, D plus angle DCQ is equal to angle BCQ. BCD is measurement is 50 degree. DCQ we have found 80 degree. So angle BCQ and therefore angle BCQ their addition would be 130 degree. Now we will take this parallel line. AB is parallel with PQ. Line AB is parallel with line PQ. Now transversal I am going to take BC. Segment BC is transversal. So therefore angle ABC is congruent with angle BCQ. Therefore, angle ABC 
C is equal to BCQ's measurement is 130. Therefore, angle ABC is also 130 degrees. Fifth example, in this fifth example, ray AE. AE is parallel with BD. If they are parallel, then angle EAB and ABD are congruent alternate angle theorem. But what is given? They said that AF is the bisector. This AF is bisector. It makes the two equal angles. And BC is also bisector. So it makes the two equal angles. That means what? We have to prove that line AF is parallel with line BC. So here given. I will start with given. Ray AE parallel with ray BD. AF is a bisector. Therefore, instead of writing bisector, I will write angle EAF is congruent with angle FAB and is equal to major is X. So, same way, angle DBC congruent D, B, C, this angle and A, B, C are congruent and that would be bar. Proof. In this proof, we have to prove that line A, F is parallel with line B, C. Proof. We will start with the given thing. Ray AF, sorry, Ray AE is parallel with Ray BD. If these two ray are parallel with each other, then these angles would be congruent and which are nothing but the alternate angles. So, therefore, angle EAB is congruent with angle a, B, D. What is the reason? Alternate. Angle. Theorem. Alternate angle theorem. E, A, B. Observe it. E, A, B. This is nothing but 2x. Because x, x, it will be 2x. So, here it is 2x. From figure, same way, A, B, D's measurement. A, B, D's measurement would be 2, 1. So, 2, 1. 2, 2. On both the side, I will cancel it. So, here it will have that x is congruent with 1. x is congruent with 1. But what is X? X, if you observe X and these Y. X and these Y. These are the alternate angles of ray E, the ray AF and the BC would be parallel. Then this would be the alternate angles. So here, but X and Y are alternate angles. When they would be the alternate angles? If ray AF is parallel with ray BC and what would be the transversal? AB is a transversal. Hence, or therefore, by alternate angle test, Ray AF is parallel with Ray BC. In this way, we have completed five examples. So, I hope you have understood and you have liked the video also. So, I request you all 
to please subscribe the channel to get the notifications of my next videos uh, sixth example in this sixth example here you can find the line ab is given line cd is given and here the two rays are the bisector pr and ray qs are the bisector of this particular angles and they said that in the given this ray pr and this ray sq or sorry qs are parallel with each other now we have to prove this line ab and cd is a parallel for my convenience i'll write here angle this is angle x so if it is x so of course this is a bisector that means this angle is also x so here this is y so i'll consider these two angles are y these are the bisectors so these two angles are congruent these two angles are congruent so now with the help of this i'm going to prove that line ab is parallel with line cd so here i'll write the given thing first given ray pr is parallel with ray qs to prove we have to prove it line ab is parallel with line cd now proof so we'll see consider this x x i'm going to note it down in this so angle sorry ray pr is bisector of angle p angle b p q therefore angle b r therefore angle b p r congruent with angle r p q and that i will consider as a x same way if ray qs is bisector of angle c of angle p q c therefore these two angles that means sqc angle sqc congruent with angle pqs is equal to y the thing is given ray pr and ray qs are parallel with each other ray pr is parallel with ray qs and if this ray pr and ray qs is parallel with each other then x and y are the alternate angles then those are congruent for angle r p q is congruent with angle p q s why these two angles are congruent because these are the alternate angles so by alternate angle theorem these two angles are congruent these angles are nothing but angle x is equal to y means from this i have got this x angle and y angle is congruent now i want the angle b p q so to get the angle b p q i have to take the double x same way if i want to take this angle i need double y so this i'll double it if you will double this one you will get 2x is equal to 2y. Here, for both the side, I have multiplied by 2. Now, 2x means nothing but angle B P Q. Angle B P Q. And 2y is nothing but this angle C Q P. And if you will observe and if you will consider, these are the alternate angles. 
BPQ, CQP, alternate angles of these lines, parallel lines A, B and C, D. So, if they are parallel, then only these two angles are congruent. So, these are alternate angles. Therefore, by alternate angle test, Line AB is parallel with line CD and hence it is proved. So in this way we have completed the all examples from practice set 2.2. I hope you have understood and even though if you get any query or any doubt please ask me in the comment box. Thank you.